Hello, beautiful people. I'm Clarity Bay, and welcome to my channel. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to giving you clear and detailed information to answer the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you who's keeping tabs on you and why. I'll let you know who's watching you, give you their character traits, personality traits, what they look like. I will be using the Zodiac dice to give you their Zodiac placements. I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and I will not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and click that subscribe button. That is how you can help to support my channel. If you want to further support my channel, please click the super thanks button at the bottom of the video. It is the heart shape button. So let's get straight into your reading. Take one moment and meditate on the three piles here and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three, and let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to giving you clear and detailed information to answer the questions that are most important to you. In this reading, I'm going to tell you who's keeping tabs on you, who's watching you. I'll give you their character traits, personality, as well as their zodiac placements. Group one, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. That is how you can help to support my channel. Also, if this reading does resonate with you and inspire you, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They do warm my heart and make my day. Also, if you do want to further support, click that super thanks button below the video. It is the heart-shaped button. But let's get straight into your reading and let's find out who is keeping tabs on you, group one. You have chosen the beautiful fuchsia pink perfume bottle. This is so gorgeous. It also has a lovely green trim. Let's get into your reading and let's find out who this person is. Okay, so you definitely have Scorpio. And what's very interesting about this is this says investigate. So the person is definitely keeping tabs on you. Someone is definitely wanting to know your ins and outs, your daily routines, what's going on in your life. And this person definitely could be a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, or a Venus in Scorpio as well. So let's get more information here. Spirit, who is keeping tabs on group one, Spirit, and why? You have six of pentacles. This is quite interesting. And you have the hierophant. Very interesting here. Let's get more information. Spirit, who is keeping tabs on group one and why? You have the Ace of Wands. And you also have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So this is definitely telling a story here. Again, the Scorpio energy tells me that this person is definitely has some sort of emotional feelings towards you. Okay. And the Scorpio energy is also telling me that um, this person is a, a, a sensitive person as well. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles. Now, I can clearly see here with the Six of Pentacles energy that this is definitely a, a good energy. This person is a good energy that is keeping tabs on you. This is definitely a, a very helpful person and a generous person as well with the Six of Pentacles energy. 
okay um i feel like this person wants to reach out to you in some way to help you with something with the hierophant energy this energy here clearly tells me that yes this is a very traditional person very conventional as well so this person wants to help you with something and the ace of wands is giving an even clearer picture here this is about your career so i feel like this person is 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 uh, most likely watching your social media and they obviously know that you have a business or wanting to start a business as well. This could be someone that you have talked to recently or even in the past about your career, about starting a business as well with the Ace of Wands energy here. The Queen of Cups energy. Yes, this is about creativity. This is someone that definitely wants to help you with a project. And this person has lots of compassion for you. Lots of compassion. Let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, who is watching group one? Keeping tabs, Spirit. And why? So, yes, you have peace. And this is the energy that I first resonated with with your reading this person is definitely coming to you in peace this person wants to reach out to you um, in a peaceful manner this is a very peaceful energy that is watching you yes and i feel like this person uh, vibes with you they feel like you're very peaceful as well let's get more energy thank you spirit you have the high priestess energy here and the high priestess energy is clearly telling me that this person is, yes, so the high priestess energy is even a strong confirmation with the, with the mysterious energy of the Scorpio, okay? And also with the Queen of Cups representing a high intuition. So this person definitely has a high intuition about you. They feel like you are a very genuine person, a person deserving of success. And this person is, is, is just watching. I feel like they will reach out to you, group one. Let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, spirit. You have the two of wands. This is representing fire energy, fire energy, and again, creativity, lots of creativity energy. This is definitely someone that wants to um, create with you, well, someone that wants to create with you, and the two of wands energy corresponds with the ace of wands energy because they both symbolize traveling the ace of wands energy is about it's about um, the urge to to create as well and the two of wands energy is about making travel plans so this person definitely wants to um, make travel plans with you as well let's get more thank you spirit Let's find out more. You have a wounded healer. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is very interesting. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And Scorpio represents a regenerative energy, a renewal energy the wounded healer is about someone that has regenerated and has healed themselves you have the lovers so i can clearly see here that this person definitely 
sees you as a love interest as well. This person definitely sees you, group one, as a love interest. Someone that they can connect with. Someone that's very honest. They see you, they see you as very honest. Very straightforward. Very creative. And yes, they definitely want to be in a partnership with you. They just have a very strong affinity for you, a deep love for you. This definitely may be someone that you're currently talking to. and But maybe they have not expressed their love for you in this way. But let's get some astrological placements with the dice. Let's get more clarity. Spirit, who wants to reach out to group one, spirit, and why? Wow. Wow. The reason I say wow, <laughs> group one, is because of Pluto coming out here. Pluto is a strong confirmation because... Pluto rules Scorpio. Pluto rules Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. And also you have Taurus here. And Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus. Okay? Representing love. And there's a strong confirmation for the lover's energy coming out here. Taurus rules Venus, representing love. And a strong confirmation for the lover's energy coming out here in this card. And the sixth house. The sixth house in astrology is a house placement in the birth chart. Um, there's 12 houses in the birth chart. And the sixth house represents our work. Represents our work detail and what we do for work. It represents our daily routines. It represents our health. It represents our job. So yes, the person that definitely is watching you is someone that finds you very creative, someone that um, they could work with as well as be in a love relationship with. Yes, and your reading here, group one, is highly confirmative by spirit. Thank you, spirit. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. Please take one moment to click that like button. And if you are new to my channel and or not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. This is how you can help to support my channel. Also leave a comment below. I do love reading your comments. I'm sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay, and I'm dedicated to giving you detailed and clear information to answer the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you who is keeping tabs on you, who's watching you, group two. I will give you characteristic traits, their personality, as well as their zodiac placements, I'll give you everything that Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Group two, please take one moment to click that like button. And if you are new to my channel and have not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. This is how you can help to support my channel. Also, if you would like to further support my channel, click the super thanks button below the channel. It is the one with the black and white heart emoji. But let's get straight into your reading and let's find out group two, who is keeping tabs on you. You have chosen this beautiful peach perfume bottle. It has a really cute gold trim and a crystal dropper spout. So let's get into your reading group two and let's find out who is keeping tabs on you. Who's watching you group two? Okay, so you have Pisces with sensitive. So I can clearly see here that this person does have very strong emotions for you. 
This person could also be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or a Venus in Pisces. Yes, and uh, this person definitely is um, very mysterious as well. So let's get more energy. Let's find out even more. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, who is keeping tabs on group two, Spirit? This card just jumped out here. You have the two of wands. This is quite interesting. Very interesting. And you have the will of fortune. Okay. So I can clearly see here that this person is definitely... Um, abundant, very financially um, stable, blessed, fortunate in life when it comes to their daily um, life. They're very blessed. Let's get more so we could get a clearer picture here. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Emperor. Okay. And you also have the chariot. Okay, this is quite interesting. Okay, so with the emperor energy here and the chariot energy, the emperor energy and the chariot energy, it's clearly telling me that the emperor energy here is definitely telling me that this person that is keeping tabs on you, group two, is a, is, is a very, is a person that is in a leadership position. Okay, this person is also a father figure, may have children, may not, but people see this person as a father figure. This person definitely is a strategic planner with this emperor energy showing up. The chariot card here tells me that um, this person that is keeping tabs on you um, wants to travel with you, wants to go on a new journey with you, wants to do something new with you, wants a change. This person feels like that if they, if they approach you, it would definitely be success. They would... Um, it would be progress in the making, so to speak. This is a very positive-minded um, person here. Um, the two of wands energy. Again, this is about fire. This is this is the type of person that definitely moves and does. You know, they they walk the talk, talk the walk. The Two of Wands energy. This person definitely wants to start a new project with you. Yes. Yes. So let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, who is watching you? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Those cards just wanted to wanted to definitely jump out the deck. So let's find out. Okay, so and we'll lay them all down. You have slowing down. Okay. You have control. You have the master, and you have healing, which I find quite interesting, very interesting, simply because the healing energy here represents the Pisces energy, so it's uh, definitely a high confirmation for you, group two. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Yes. This is this person, I feel like is in the healing industry of some sort. This person is definitely a master of their craft and definitely in control of what it is that they're doing, in control of their life with the control energy here and the slowing down energy. 
This person is definitely the type of person that takes their time. This is not the type of person that will just reach out to anyone. This is a very strategic planner, as mentioned with the emperor energy here coming out in your reading earlier. Yes. Thank you, spirit. So let's get more. Let's find out more. You have worry. That's interesting. And and you yes, the healing industry. Look. So you see in the card what is representing the person in the in the doctor's office and the doctor showing the person an x-ray. Okay? So this is also the five of pentacles. Okay, but the five of pentacles energy is representing, it's representing like you worried about something. And this person wants to reach out to you to assist you because this person has picked up like your worry energy or maybe you express this to this person, which is why they are keeping tabs on you. Maybe this person does call you sometimes or if you don't know this person, they are watching your social media. And because of the things that you have been posting lately, this person definitely is sending you love and healing energy as well. I can clearly see that with the healing card here. A strong confirmation in your reading group too. As you can see, both cards are representing healing. You have healing here and then you have the five of pentacles here where the doctor is pointing to the x-ray. And spirit is clearly telling me here with the master energy that you are totally fine group two. So if you have been having some concerns regarding your health, spirit is, is telling me to tell you to see yourself as well and go towards wellness, go towards health, go towards healthy thoughts, healthy eating, healthy vibrations, and move immediately away from sickness. Yes, just wanted to um, iterate that in your reading. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more energy. Let's find out more. You have the five of wands here. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's get more energy. You have shame. Okay. Okay, so I can clearly see here that this person is definitely um, a leader in the medical industry, something in the health field. I feel like this person is either a medical doctor, definitely a leader in this way. And, and the spirit wants you to know, first off, group two, that there's nothing for you to be ashamed about. And that is where you are getting this sensitivity you know, some of you are feeling a sensitive sensitivity in your stomach and spirit is saying that that's why you're feeling it because of the shame energy that you have, but you are totally healthy and you're encouraged to accept health in your life right now and speak health, watch healthy content, healthy media, health, mind, body, and spirit. But let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Let's get some astrological placements. Very interesting. Okay, so I can see here that, yes. Okay, so you have Libra, you have Libra, okay. So, and that's about balance. And balance, health is balance. Okay, health is balance. 
Health, being healthy is balance. So with the Libra energy, this person could be a Libra sun, moon, or rising as well. That could also be your placements, group two. Yes, very interesting. Very interesting. And here with the planet Neptune, Neptune ruling Pisces, super strong confirmation in your reading. I just had to take a moment and pause there because your reading is so strong and high confirming here. Thank you, Spirit. With Neptune showing up, um, Pisces, Neptune ruling Pisces, which Pisces is your first card that came out. Strong confirmation here. This person is definitely in the healing industry and has a strong intuition and has a strong spiritual awareness about you. Okay. And here, again, you have the um, ninth house. No, this is the, is that the ninth or the sixth? That's the ninth. It's the ninth house. So you have the ninth house, okay? And the ninth house representing like higher education. So again, this is someone that is definitely highly educated. It represents spirituality. It's someone that's very spiritual as well and connected to source energy. So yes, group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. This is how you can help to support my channel. For those of you who are not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, leave a comment below if this reading does inspire you or resonate with you. I do love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay, and I'm a psychic medium dedicated to giving you clear and detailed information to answer the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you who's keeping tabs on you, who's watching you, group three. I will give you their characteristic traits, their personality traits, also their zodiac placements, I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Group three, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video upload. Also, that is how you can help to support my channel. But let's get straight into your reading. Group three, I can see that you have chosen this gorgeous beautiful lavender perfume bottle. It is trimmed with a lovely gold trim and has a gorgeous crystal top. So group three, let's get straight into your reading and let's find out who is keeping tabs on you. You have Jupiter. Okay. And the planet Jupiter represents abundance. Um, I can see this person is definitely very generous as well. Well, this person is definitely spiritually aware. Okay. Also, this person could be a Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising, or even have a Venus in Sagittarius. But let's get more energy. Let's find out even more. All right. This is very interesting. A very wealthy person. So let's get more spirit. Who is keeping tabs on group three spirit and why you have the queen of pentacles this is interesting and you have the ten of swords okay so let's get even more clarity here you have the ten of wands quite interesting 
let's move the astrological dice here and you have the fool okay okay so this is becoming even more clear here for me okay so with the queen of pentacles energy this is definitely telling me that this is a very loving um, energy that is watching you keeping tabs on you this is a very loving energy okay very wise as well the ten of swords energy is telling me that um uh, this person is is has a very this person has a very high intellect and this person is definitely something is coming to an end for this person and it could be a relationship as well or something has come to a final ending for this person recently within the last six months or so the full energy here is representing um, how They see you as someone to take, to start something new with, a fresh chance. I can find something new in your music. A new beginning? Tell me why. My computer just went off. Hold on, you guys, one moment. That is so strange, you guys. That has never happened. My computer is all the way on the other side of the room. And of course, I didn't ask for Siri to come on, not at all. So I feel like this has something to do with, with the full energy. This person is, a, this is about taking chances and starting a new beginning, a fresh start. And I feel like this person wants to make a fresh start with you. And especially since Siri just came out and she said, and this is, this is very interesting. She said, I could not find any new music for you. This could have something definitely to do with creativity and a project. This person is keeping tabs on you because they want to reach out to you regarding some sort of project or creativity. And it could specifically have to do with music. Okay, very interesting there. And I did not want to cut that out of the video because that has never, ever, ever, ever happened. As a matter of fact, I don't even use Siri at all. Not at all. Never have. So let's keep going. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Spirit. Who is keeping tabs on group three and why? You have betrayal. Very interesting. I can see this person definitely has been betrayed in the past by someone and they find you as an honest person. They see your energy is very honest and that is represented with the queen of pentacles energy that came out here, which represents loyalty as well. Let's keep going. You have naked, yes, strong confirmation here. This person sees you as someone that is very transparent, very loyal. And this is a very transparent person as well. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. You have change, two of pentacles. Yes, so they want to make a fresh start and a new beginning with you, group three. They see you as a breath of fresh air. They see you as change with the two of pentacles energy here. And this person does a lot. They have a lot of things that they do do, which is quite interesting being that this Two of, two of Pentacle cards is laid right up under the Jupiter Abundance card. This is the type of person that does a lot. But let's get more energy. Thank you, Spirit. You also have the Ace of Swords here. 
So the Ace of Swords energy definitely tells me that this is about new ideas, okay? New ideas. This person has a collaborative idea with you. I'm getting a romantic um, energy as well. This person sees you in a romantic light. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Queen of Wands. Yes. Okay, so with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands energy both coming out in your reading, Group 3. Now, this is clearly telling me that this person is definitely a type of person that has high self-confidence, a very feisty um, person. And again, fire energy. Definitely fire energy. Jupiter was your first card. And then the Queen of Wands energy. This person could definitely be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or even a Venus in Sagittarius. This could be your placements as well. Let's get some more um, clarification. Okay. Definitely some fire energy with Leo coming out here. More fire energy. Person could be a Leo, sun, moon, or rising, or even a Venus in Leo. This could be your placements as well. But this is a very self-assured leadership type person. A person that's in charge of their life. They do what they want when they want to do it. This person has very high self-confidence. Very romantic as well, very creative, and, and Leo representing romance. So this is even a stronger confirmation that this person has a romantic interest in you. Okay, and with the ninth house coming out on your dice here, your astrological dice, the ninth house representing career and their public image. So this public, it, this person is in the public spotlight. You have Scorpio here. A Scorpio here. Okay, this is about transformation. And I talked about this person going through a transformation, doing something, um, putting a, a ending to something, a final ending with the Ten of Swords energy coming here. This person has transformed their life and they see you as a new beginning group three. Okay, the Scorpio energy. This person is definitely um, a very imaginative, very creative. Could be a Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. So this is how this um, astrological energies could play out. This person could be a Sagittarius sun, a Leo moon, and a Scorpio rising, or vice versa. And these could also represent your energy as energies as well. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. Um, please click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. This is how you can help to support my channel. Subscribe, 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 you guys. Also, leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They do warm my heart and make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.